Hi everyone, today the House passed the Allow States and Victims to Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act. In February 2013, a sting operation was held near our home. The operation happened in Watertown, South Dakota, and over the course of two days, undercover ads were placed on Backpage.com. The ad received 110 responses. Now this isn't a major city, this is a hometown. It's a place with a strong sense of community, a place built on the idea of a strong family and a strong sense of what's right and what's wrong. This is a place in which Brian and I chose to raise our family and yet even in this community, websites like Backpage.com have been able to facilitate the buying and selling of our children. Across the state a few months later, a similar operation was run. Once again, undercover ads were placed on Backpage.com. Those ads received 275 responses. It makes me sick to think about it. You know, criminals use the internet to hide their disgusting requests. In fact, studies have shown that around 70% of child sex trafficking survivors were at some point sold online. And sleazy websites like Backpage.com are profiting immensely because of it. By some reports, Backpage is responsible for 70% of prostitution advertising among major websites that carry such ads. And it's believed that more than 90% of Backpage's profits come from their adult advertisements. These quote-unquote adult advertisements may have contained adult content, but in many cases it was children that they were selling. According to court documents filed with the California Department of Justice, these sales earn the owners of Backpage between $1.5 million and $2.5 million a month in just California alone. With this evidence in mind, it's clear that Backpage is a standout in this area. Their business model relies on the buying and selling of human beings, and it needs to end. Today's legislation will provide another tool to secure justice for victims. More specifically, it clarifies a critical section of law to make it clear that immunity is not given to websites that facilitate sex trafficking. It also creates a new federal crime targeting websites that have the intent to promote or facilitate illegal prostitution. And it also increases penalties and enhances the ability of victims to collect restitution. So I'm glad to see this legislation move forward, and I'm hopeful that it will be signed into law soon.